What is good with y'all, man? So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get instant pressure from your defensive line without blitzing anybody in your team. I'm talking about just sending four people minimum, like, and the, you will get to the quarterback instantly. Now, you could kind of say the reason why what I'm gonna show you at work, like what what this is in a nutshell, is you're just dumbing out the offensive linemen you know it, it, the, the logic of the offensive linemen is so bad it's so easy to dumb them out like i actually did this without even trying to like do anything i just was doing this in game and then i was getting free sacks and i was like wow the offensive line is that bad so i'm gonna show you what this looks like in game i'm gonna show you these clips right here and then after that uh basically i'm gonna show you how to do this look at this play i'm about to show you this is from a recent gameplay i just posted uh, a couple days ago was Devontae Smith going crazy, but a lot of people wondering how is Hassan Reddick doing what he's doing coming in free right here. You can see I'm only rushing four people. I'm in nickel normal. You got Reggie White, the DN, Haloti Nada, D tackle one, uh, Jordan Davis, D tackle two, and then uh, Hassan Reddick, my second edge rusher. That's four defensive linemen. There's nobody else coming in free here. And look at this. As soon as the ball snapped, Hassan Reddick is not blocked and he's coming in free. And watch this. He's going to get an easy sack. Look at that right to the quarterback and you're probably wondering all right how do i do this it's very easy it's not hard at all the only catch is it's a 50 50 thing it's not a guarantee this is going to work every time it's 50 50 like i said sometimes it'll work sometimes it doesn't but it's so easy to set it up it doesn't hurt to set this up every time you can do this in any defense in nickel normal it has to be nickel normal though so let's go back to the practice field and i'm gonna show you how to do it and so the defensive playbook that i'm in i'm in the four six playbook it's one of the alternate playbooks if you're playing rags just go to the four six playbook if you're playing ultimate team uh then you gotta go into auction house look for the four six playbook that's what it is now you don't have to run this playbook i just like because it, it also has the four six bear which i like for the goal line uh but the formation we're gonna go to you want to go over to nickel and you want to go for the one that says nickel over that is nickel normal from all the other years of madden they just changed the name of it it's nickel normal now you can run any play out of this doesn't matter i only only play i run is tampa two that's just kind of like my shell defense that i come out in so we're going to pick that uh, let's have the AI come out in. Let's have him come out in a bunch because you know what? Why not? All right. So basically, this is a very easy thing to set up. You could do. You could set this up and then do whatever adjustments you want to do. So I always kind of uh, press my DBs. Now usually I base align my defense. I did forget to base align them. It doesn't matter. You don't have to press them. It's just something I do. You want to pinch the D line, right? Pinch them. Then you want to pitch your linebackers, right? Pinch everybody, right? Then with the D-line, you want to crash them to the inside. So slant the D-line in the inside. And then you want to make sure, because the goal is you want to get this guy over here on the end. You want to get him to run it free. So um, in order to do it, you usually have to use the uh, linebacker on that side. If you use this guy on the side, it can happen sometimes, but it's not going to happen as much. So you want to make sure you use this guy right here. So basically, you just want to put him on a blitz. You want to make sure you also pass commit. You always pass commit. People forget about that. Pass commit. And then, um, you know what I mean? Is a 50-50 chance he's going to run in free or he's not. So we'll see. As you can see right there, ran in free. Now, don't know how in the world the AI got that out. The thing is, the thing that's crazy, though, for me, that is Sean Reddick and Ultimate Team. I have under pressure on him. So when he comes in free, you're fucked. You're, not, you're either throwing a pick, you're throwing an incompletion, or you're getting sacked. If he comes in free like that, because with that under pressure, you're done. Until a quarterback comes out with feelers or something, there's nothing that you can do. And like I said, you that and now once you set the defense up like this, uh, you can make whatever adjustments you need to do. Just and make sure you stand with the linebacker right here. Because you see how the user blitz, like I said, it dumbs the lineman out. They don't know who the heck they're supposed to block. They basically just start panicking. And as you can see, thought he was supposed to block me. No, you need to get Mr. Assad ready. This is I'm only rushing four people. It's insane. So uh because and honestly, I'm guessing why is because you can see on the user blitz, it looks like I like 76 is gonna have to block me, but I don't know. They're they're just stupid. All right. So and then let's say if I was going against a bunch, I'd probably do my adjustments, something like this. I'd set my guys up and then, you know what I mean? I don't know, something like this maybe. That is not what I meant to do. Let me see if I can get my guy back there. The goal is you want to make the user blitz like right there. You want to make it look like he's going right at 76. So we do it. That time it didn't work. We see you. I kind of moved my uh, linebacker there. Try not to move your linebacker off the rip. That's why I always say base align your defense. The reason I like base aligning the defense is because everyone's going to be in their proper spots, right? So let's say I base aligner here, right? 
base align everyone's going to come out where they need to be right so let's try this again boom base align so make sure you pinch the defensive line pinch your linebackers and you have to slant the d uh, the d line into the inside and then you're going to be golden you're going to be good to go as you can see here did we get to work yeah it didn't work that time like i said it's a 50 50 thing sometimes it'll work sometimes it doesn't it's just you know when it does it's, it, ggs to your opponent because there's nothing they can do about it so that's pretty much how you do it um it's not hard it only takes a couple seconds to do and then you can set up all your adjustments that you need to do so yeah that's pretty much it that works the ultimate team works and regs um works really good in the ultimate team because then if you got a, if your defensive end right there is under pressure it's going to be very hard it's going to be a long day for your opponent so um that is pretty much going to do it though boys like comment subscribe man if you want to go over ahead into the, my twitch and drop a follow the link that's down in the description we're playing madden every single night doing the same thing right here and if you got any other questions you can ask over there but till then your boy is out